Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And how have y'all been? How is the family? I hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing fabulous. If you guys are new, I've kind of been taking a break from YouTube in 2024. I've been doing little videos here and there. I think I'm going to focus more on like random ranking videos, just fun videos, more so kind of get to know me a little bit better. Also, this is my Coachella attempt look because we're, we're in Coachella week. I've always wanted to go to Coachella, but I've, you know, I'm too poor. Oh, help me, I'm poor um, to go. But I would like to kind of like dress up. We're here to talk about my 100 favorite movies of all time. Well, like, as of right now, what day is it? And as of April 13, when I'm filming this, this is how this, this is what I like right now. But you ask me tomorrow, it's gonna change. Cause when I tell y'all I have been, this list, wow, I have been working on it for like two months, I think, or maybe even more. I know that I'm missing a lot of movies that I really like, okay? But when I tell y'all movies have been coming in, coming out, shifting all throughout, y'all, I am a mood watcher, mood reader, mood listener. So it just depends on how I'm feeling that day on what I like. Anybody out there else like that? You're probably like, no, I like what I like. We're not going to do all 100. Don't worry about that. But we're also not going to be doing like 10 increments, okay? Um, we're going to do 20 at a time. Boom, 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 20. Once we get to the last 20, we're going to split those into 10 like honorable mentions, right? 10 and then the top 10. Because of course, nobody cares what your 100th favorite movie is. Basically, that's trash. Those are trash movies. Mind you, out of hundreds of millions of thousands of movies that there are in the world, and this are my 100 favorite, give or take some, because again, they've been kind of coming up and down and switching. Do we even need to do a disclaimer? No. But will I? Yes. Because there's people out there that are going to be like, ill. No. As a reminder, we're, you're on my, my channel, you're watching my video, so this are my favorite 100 movies, okay? So my list is not going to look at all like your list okay so also if you're here and you're like i wonder where like this classic and that classic and this western and this that and like star wars and like lord of the rings you're not gonna be going from 100 to what is it 81 right to 81 and because nobody again really cares about this bottom part we're gonna just kind of like go through the motion. We'll, we'll talk a little bit more as we get to the good stuff, right? Top 50, top 20. Before I do get into that, let me just give a little more of an update. If you wanna get straight to the list, I'll put a timestamp down below. But again, I've been on hiatus for a while. I had to put my glasses on, I needed to see y'all. Also, I got new glasses, y'all. They're my little grandma glasses, I love them. Okay, so, <clears throat> update. <clears throat> I finished watching the originals. It was heartbreaking as it was the first time, okay? There was some uh, parts that I totally forgot about people dying and I was just heartbroken. I just started watching Avatar, The Last Airbender, the Netflix series. I did watch the animated series like way back when. I'm not like loving it, but it's okay. I'm currently in the middle of three books. My audiobook, which is the book club book, is She's Up To No Good by Sarah Goodman Confino. Yeah, I know I'm terrible with names. It's a really fun kind of like road trip, little island kind of summary. It's a really great pattern cleanser because last um, month we were in the middle, middle of the uh, Lord series and Sinner, y'all, oh my God, that's <laughs> found my limit and I just can't, it was too much. It was too much, we needed something cute and fluffy and this is definitely that. The grandmother in here definitely gives me Sophia vibes from Golden Girls. I'm almost done with that one. And then I'm also reading uh, Tag, You're Dead. I'm also almost done with it here. This one gives me uh, Nerve Vibes with Emma Roberts and Dave Franco. Uh, very much those. Um, that's what I'm physically reading. And then um, on my Kindle, I'm reading Han, which is book four of the Alliance series. And I fucking love this series. Like this is like, and oh my god, he's already called her a good girl. I freaking love it because yeah, I already know how I am with my good girl. Uh, I don't know, maybe you don't. And then the final news that I wanted to share with you guys, um, I, uh, you may or may not know Blacktastic Media. He asked me to be part of his short film a couple months ago. I said yes. He traveled down here to Texas because he's in California this past weekend and we shot my scenes. Because I'm going to be in a short film, yeah. Oh, how excited i'm terrified okay for y'all who are like reviewing please be very nice to me because it's my first little thing ever and uh maybe like don't even mention me in the review just kind of like bypass me like oh yeah there was somebody else there 
because <laughs> like it's so scary okay it was very fun it was very exciting it was terrifying uh but we did it it was it was great that's gonna come out may the 9th um here on youtube um on his channel black tastic media so that is like a big thing i hadn't announced it really anywhere i'm like officially if well no i guess i did do like a story on instagram um when he was here last week but like this is like the official official deal you have jumped ahead you have come to the right place how many of the posters and or the shirt that i have on like where on the list will they be and again we're not really gonna get into too much unless i feel like i need to explain myself <laughs> i don't think i'm gonna need to explain myself. okay so 100 place that's kind of weird okay we're talking about 2012's project x this movie has always stuck with me and I know I just said I wasn't gonna talk about it so I'm not just know I've always wanted to go to a party like this I mean that's like a little bit like overboard but like at the same time like yes I would like to go to a party like that and maybe like leave before it got like to the craziness of it 99 we're talking about 2007 and this is a revenge story uh somebody's kid gets and the papa has to come and do some revenge and he's just like a everyday dad and we're talking about death sentence and in 98th place we're going to 2011 and this is the first based on a true story movie that i have on my list just know i love me some based on a true story movie so i do have quite a few um in here also i did notice that one year in particularly is on here a lot in the 2019 so there's gonna be a lot of 2019 movies on here uh, but this one we're talking about a young girl who loves to surf and unfortunately you know gets her hand taken by a shark and there's a soul surfer 97th place this was actually one of my favorite movies like teenage me would be crying right now because this was actually one of my favorite movies like top five movies like back in the day 2004 is when this movie came out and i absolutely adored this movie i saw this movie so so much and this is a nice little boxing movie called million dollar baby moving on to number 96 we're actually staying with 2004 this movie barely beat million dollar baby by like a hair of a fraction i do it um enjoy this a little bit more i just want us to know if you're gonna vote for pedro it's gonna be napoleon dynamite i was obsessed obsessed with this movie back in the day as well and i still really love it i, I saw it not that long ago and i was just like grinning into ear to ear you know where i'm not grinning ear to ear grinning because i don't think i said that right would be number 95 because we're going forward to 2010 i was like where, where are we at we're going forward in time to 2010. We're going to a very dark, mysterious, beautiful, dancing type of creepy ass movie that you're like, Stephanie, you watch this beautiful ballet movie? Yes, I did. Did I get a little creeped out? Just a little bit, but at the end of the day, very much enjoy me a little bit of this black swan. Number 94, we have our first 2019 movie. I'm kind of shocked that it's really this far down. I did only watch it one time, but it really, really struck with me. I just know that the more that I watch it, the more it'll go up higher on my list. Um, it has one of my boyfriends, Shia LaBeouf. I love me a little Shia LaBeouf. I don't care how cray cray he'd be getting, but I loved him stuff I him in even stevens okay um this could be the peanut butter falcon number 93 we're just gonna go forward just a little year um 2020 and this is a very beautiful yummy movie i just remember seeing it and just thinking how like all the colors so vibrant and yet it's so like darkish movie i love how this movie brought paris hilton's song back into style you know like i know a lot of people always hated it i i secretly always enjoyed the movie the movie the song but it was one of those where people were like oh and i'm just kind of like with jennifer's body you know it's like everybody was always shooting on it back in the day and i'm just like well i like it and then like now it's like a campy deal but anywho this is promising young woman beautiful movie and then we're going back to 2003 number 92 this one right here has traumatized everybody and like i guess i could cheat a little bit and just put the whole franchise but we're gonna specifically put this one movie on here because this is the one that if you live during this time era you know that we are traumatized and we do not i repeat we do not drive behind these uh trailers that have any kind of pole not just like longs but just anything that's long that can like 
break off and like jam into us and cause a wreckage. You know, we don't be doing that. Anybody else out here, like when you're driving and there's a water bottle that comes over, I be like with my foot underneath and I'm panicking and I'm like, final destination! Final destination! Final Destination 2, but um, I do love the whole Final Destination uh, franchise. It's one of my all-time favorite franchises just because uh, I do love me again like a little bit of gore. Um, I don't like demonic things as a reminder, but I do love like gory stuff. Like I can see people getting like slashed up, gutted up like all day long, but you put a demon in front of me? You put a freaky little girl in front of me? Mm. No. Jumping back ahead to 2000 eight we're talking number 91 here okay like i said we cruising through this list all right just know just know okay because you know we friends just know that if anything happens to you like you are kidnapped i do not have a set of skill that will bring you back like you a goner like if you get one phone call don't waste it on me because there are no set of skills i can't find you this is taken number 90 right here uh, we're talking about the father now this movie did kind of take me off guard at a few points because it does also confuse you and then after a while it's like oh we're seeing this from the point of view of him of anthony hopkins and he has dementia i think it's a really interesting how they shot it to kind of give you a glimpse of what it is like to have to make my yell because you're gonna be like why is it down here so far shame on you it's on my list it is on my i mean i know i called the last 100 movies like trash but no it's on my list so it matters okay <laughs> they matter but we're gonna go back to the 70s 1976 we're at 89 and we're like what are you looking at huh what you looking you looking at me you looking at me This movie right looking at me taxi driver when i saw this movie the first time i said hold up wait one minute where have you been all my life okay i do have a review on this i think i have a review on the father too no i don't think i have a review on the father uh the father i think i talk about during the oscars time and i do have a review on promising young woman I think maybe the peanut butter falcon. I can't remember. But anything that I may have a review on, I'll link link it down below if you want to hear like overall thoughts um, about stuff. But um, I, I mean, obviously not a lot of stuff here. So I have um, reviews. I did have this movie up higher at one point, but then like as I was going, you know, again it's like mood, and then I'm just like, well, I do like it. I've only seen you one time. And you stuck with me but then it's like enjoyment wise i like this other movie more you know it there's just like a lot that goes into my stuff i mean there's not like science okay again it's mood number 88 this is another one that was a first time watch and then again when i saw it the first time i said and we're going to 2012 I haven't seen the wait did I see the original? I don't think I saw the original. Dread? Yeah. Dread? If you haven't seen that movie, I uh, I almost kind of want to put it up higher, but once again, at this particular time, it's like right now because I'm talking about it, like I'm just like all the emotions that I had is cutting up because it's like a lot of violence happening, right? And like I want to put it up there, but then it's like I have other stuff up there, right? So then I'm just like, ah, calm down. Number 87, we're hitting the 2000 mark right here. Um, also, if any of these dates are wrong, blame Letterbox because I literally have Letterbox right here and it tells me the year. But I know like in some cases, like it might be a little bit off, so whatever. Okay, it's, it's not gonna be the end of the world. Don't come at me, all right? Was this before Fast and the Furious or after? I can't remember when Fast, did Fast and the Furious, Fast, when did the first Fast and the Furious come out? Hold on. Let me, let me, let me do a little research because you have me knowing that I don't, I don't be Fast and the Furious. Okay, so this was before Fast and the Furious, okay? We're like stealing cars. In one night, room room, I'll take care of you, Eleanor. Eleanor keeps trying to kill him. We got we got a great cast. We got like a whoosh coming through the the wall. Did you just know you went through a wall? I love me some driving movies. 
I love me some fast cars. I love me some Nick Cage in early 2000s. And I love me some Gone in 60 Seconds, okay? Because it was a fun movie, okay? Let's ride. We're, we're, we're bringing it back down, okay? To more like here. We're going like. <laughs> I don't know. It's another 2019 movie. Movie number two. So number 86, all right? It's a. Um, stylish i don't yeah no i don't have a script right so there's no script this is everything improvised all right if you want script if you want like you need to go somewhere else but if you want chaos you're in the right place i don't know i tend to scream sometimes just wait till i sing to you guys okay the singing will come after this all right just know it just know it got one of my favorite scenes like ever like i love this scene where he's in the bathroom and he's just doing this very interpreted dance after he come on and kill some people in the subway and that is joker 85 we're going to 2021 we're gonna go to left my mind thunder bruno said it looked like rain he would be <laughs> anywho encanto y'all i went through something right there because those damn songs were not coming i guess it was jesus telling me girl don't sing don't do it had it on my list and then i took it off and then i had it and then i took it off and then like the final like today when I was showing my sister the last thing, I go here and she goes, Encanto. I said, I know, I love me some Encanto. And she's all like, I can't believe you don't have that one. I want or more one. I said, I love me both of them. But I'm like, you know, I love Encanto more. And I'm like, you tell me to watch Encanto. And I'll be like, yes. I will never turn down to watch Encanto. I freaking adore it. Number 84. Back to guess what year. This one I love because it's a comedy. And I love comedy. Comedy and animation are my two favorite genres just so you're aware comedy these days not that much anymore like comedy is going back down like action is kind of coming and taking its place because yeah no comedy these days just it's just not good like they just this little movie every time i watch it i crack up and certain car scene when they're connecting the stuff to the bluetooth and then like the the principal i think is like the uber driver and they like they they, they <laughs> they're they're watching my books <laughs> and that is book smart this movie so hilarious i love it because even though it's like woke or whatever right it's like it still manages to be really funny and raunchy and I adore it because I love me a raunchy comedy. All right guys, we're almost to the end of this 20 movie span. So if you guys are new, consider subscribing to the channel. Oh my God, y'all talking about subscribing. I cannot believe I did not say this in my announcements, y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all ready? Ah, it's so exciting. Now before y'all don't subscribe to my channel because I'm, I'm too loud, okay? We made 700 subscribers. Y'all, thank you, thank you so, so much for every last person who has subscribed to the channel, who's like, comment, share, all that good stuff. I truly, 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 truly appreciate it. Um, again, if you're new, if you like all the chaos, then consider subscribing. Let's get, let's get to 800 now. Let's get, let's roll on over. Let's run there, jog fast walking because you know some of us have bad needs to 800 <laughs> subscribers truly appreciate it. but let's get back to our regular schedule programming 83 i was about to say it's based on a true story <laughs> no not based on a true story uh, but we are going to 2015 this one is based off of a book okay so oh my gosh why are y'all so dark I don't know what happened. This one is actually based off of a book, which I did read. Well, actually, I listened to it. And the movie actually is really, really good. It's, uh, they kept it pretty um, accurate to the book, which I do love. I do 
dislike it when the movies go like way off base from the book and they take a lot of the like the essence of it. There are certain things in the movie that they did differently that actually work better than was actually in the book but it was great and that is The Martian. Great movie. Um, we love us some Matt Damon stranded up in Mars. Then we're going to number 82 to a less serious movie. We got a little bit more of a Nicolas Cage because like I said I do adore me some Nicolas Cage. And then we got our handsome handsome uh, new boyfriend adding to the mix here. Our little beloved Pedro Pascal. If you do not love Pedro Pascal, I don't think we can be friends. Anywho, we are talking about 2022's The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. Y'all, this movie is so hilarious. Every single time I watch it, I just crack up laughing when they're on acid, when they're going up the wall, when they're being super dramatic. I love it. And then finally, to end this list, we're gonna end it with a Denzel Washington movie. And we're actually gonna start off the next thing with another Denzel movie. We have them back to back. But this one, we're talking about 2004. And y'all wanna guess in the comment section what my next, I'm not gonna tell y'all what year it came out because otherwise you're gonna know. But just know it's also a 2000 movie, okay? We are talking about Man on Fire. We love us. Another person who get kidnapped, he's going on there to rescue the girl, Dakota Fanny. Love me some Dakota. This is my list. I hopefully this video is not like forever long. I I was trying to cruise through it, y'all. I was trying to cruise. I don't think I talked a lot about a lot of these, right? Because nobody cares about these. I mean, I love them and I care about them. How many times did I say love in this video? But yeah, I'm gonna say love a lot because I love all of them. I do. Again, like things change, shift, and everything. So after the, all these videos come out, you're gonna go on there. You're gonna be like, hold up, how is this movie number like 82 when she did this and now has moved up? Because when I tell y'all, the unbearable way to mess up talent, <laughs> mouthful, definitely has potential to go up on my list. It most definitely does. Okay, so this is it. Thank you so much uh, for watching. Um, I will be working on the other ones later on at some point. Uh, but I'm gonna, again, it's gonna be sooner rather than later. Some other videos that I'm gonna be working on are kind of like guilty pleasures. Movies you love, but I don't love. And that's gonna be a big controversy because when I tell y'all there's a lot, a lot of beloved movies that you guys love and I'm just like, or better yet, I'm just like, oh, it's still on. Well, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys in positions. Bye.